but there will be a price to pay. Having said that, um, you know, the grown-ups are back in charge. Um, it's quite clear both the Treasury and the Bank of England are working well together. And that is reflected in a better state of the bond market, and long may that continue. Well, we do have the fiscal event coming up. There's about a £50 billion hole that needs to be filled if you account for the headroom as well. What do you think is the best proportion of spending cuts versus tax rises? Well, normally, um, as a former Treasury official, I would be arguing for spending cuts because actually, in the end, those tend to be most sustainable. But the problem is this country has been going through spending cuts for a decade now. It has serious public spending pressures. The demographic background is unhelpful. Mm -hmm. And so I think the government will probably go for a 50-50 approach with quite big tax increases. Um, tax increases which will try and they will try and deliver with while minimising the political costs. So I would expect windfall taxes on energy companies, um, taxes on individuals which they may not notice, um, harnessing inflation to um, ensure that people move into higher tax brackets but without changing the rates. Um, th those sort of um, responses which can bring in a reasonable amount of revenue. Um, so, and and on the spending side, probably delaying quite a lot of the pain, allowing them to write in lower spending totals further out without quite explaining how they're going to deliver them. Are investors right to be worried about the UK's fiscal trajectory at this point? Well, I think they're worried because of recent events. If you step back from those events, Britain's position looks far more sustainable. Our debt levels are lower than many other medium-sized industrialised countries. The one problem we do have is, as a nation is that we tend to be overly reliant on foreign capital inflows to fund our twin deficits. Mm -hmm. And unlike the United States, we don't have a reserve currency. People do not have to hold sterling. So I'm optimistic. I think when things settle down, Britain will not look like an outlier. We will be able perfectly easily to fund our deficits. But it does require the government now to adopt pretty restrictive policies to convince the markets that, um, you know, we are a credible investment risk.